What is going on everyone? Chesty, strapped up. Gonna be fishing off the bank today. Over here, one of my favorite places to fish recently, the Wharf River, past year. Been fishing over here a good bit. Lots of really nice spotted bass. Some really nice largemouth in here as well. I got my little untamed tackle ace jig out. Not available to the public yet, but will be very soon. Got me the black and blue and all that I painted myself. About to go flip it around some. Try to catch some fish out of some of this, some of this isolated wood cover with some of this current. Also got a spinner bait. Got the chesty on, so let's strap y'all up, get out there, and catch us a big spot or two. So let me grab these rods real quick. All right, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. Paint already knocked off. I painted this one myself with some uh, rubberized paint, so not good, but look at that little pretty joker. God, this is my rod I built exactly for the jig. This is a seven foot three heavy. I love this thing. This thing's got a really good hook in it, so you're not gonna bend it with that heavy. And now. I wanted to put a really stiff weed guard in there because you can take out strands, but you can't add them. Very stiff weed guard, but it's really close to the hook point. That's gonna make it very weedless. Whenever you set the hook, you don't have to bend it very far, but it is a pretty stout weed guard. So that's what I wanted because I'm gonna plan on flipping this jig, skipping this jig, throwing it in open water around floating dock or something. You can just cut some of the weed guard out if you need to, but bad little dude right here. Let's go catch us one on it. All right, y'all see a snake, let me know, okay? Because uh, y'all's eyes just add to it better than two eyes that I've got. So just keep an eye out for them, uh, the most slithering little suckers. So let's watch out for them and then go catch us. A dang bass. I love flipping these little root balls like this. Just special place in my heart, flipping a jig up beside root balls in the current. Oh, I lost it. Daggummit. Man, that was a chunky little spotted bass. There he is. Got me one that time. He must have not ate it good the first time. Look at that. Right through the nose. So, looks like he didn't eat it that good. But, hooked him really, really well, obviously. Snatched him straight up. Just a chunky one, oh, croaking at me, like a little croaker or something. Awesome. I hate catching them from this high, because then you have to just like toss them back in the water. But he stuck the landing, so all good. And there's another one. There's like a gajillion right there or something. I'll take that. They're picking at it. It's kind of crazy how much they actually school up. All this wood, you know, and you'll Flip a bunch of it, don't get a bite anywhere, then get two or three bites off the same dang piece, you know? One thing about it, usually when they hear, they hear. All right, spot number two. First place, caught one fish. I think I had the same fish bite twice and a couple more really, really small ones bite. So got a lot more isolated trees, cypress trees, stuff like that over here. Some really good current breaks. Let's get that spinner bait out first. So Lost River Lure spinner bait. Get around some of these trees, slow roll it, catch some of these spotted bass, then go back through and flip it with my little jig. So let's go. All right, that's my little spinner bait. Double willow. Got a little swim bait on back. I don't have a trailer hook, so I've only got a little swim bait which is pretty good. They eat it pretty good with that little swim bait on back. They don't miss it very often. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if there's some over here. Pretty shallow, pretty shallow today. Pretty cool watching that, uh, you're just watching that blade come back and all of a sudden it just, wham. A 
going up the current. It just pretty much suspends right there, right in front of them, which I don't like. I like for it to move a little bit. This should be the trees. I don't know if I've ever caught a fish off these trees, but that gum they look good. Drag slip a little bit. Spotted bass right there. Little one, but pretty. Very pretty. Awesome. Just what is he eating? He's eating a big tadpole or something. I don't know. See a little tail down in there? Hold on for a second there, buddy. Got me another one on the old spinner bait. He ate it good, too. They all seem to eat it pretty dang good. Oh. Yawn. Yawn. God, like a big and good spot. Heck yeah. Don't you come off of there. Large mouth. He crushed it. Beautiful fish, man. Just a pretty sucker. I absolutely love He's got a patch on his tongue. That's, that is a large mouth as large mouth gets with a patch on his tongue. So we have a little bit of spot in him somewhere pretty i know i fish the elites fish a bunch of tournaments catch a lot of big fish but i absolutely love catching bass and from from the bank trekking through all these bushes just seems to be a little bit more rewarding especially when you get to catch them in the current just something awesome about catching them in the current catch them on the spinnerbait watching it come back to me you know i'm watching them all eat the thing the other bites I'm getting on a, is on a jig. I literally hand designed myself. Just very rewarding. And I love fishing current to begin with. So let's do that again. That one smashed it. Oh my gosh. I mean crushed. All right. Time to put up the old spinnerbait and get out old nasty ace. Nasty ace right there, dude. Flip that sucker around, catch some of these, pick us up some of these leftovers that we didn't catch the first time. Let's go back to the trees that I've never had a bite on because they look too good for a fish to live on them. The fish know that'd be way too obvious. But that gum, do they look good? <laughs> well, come here, buddy. How about that for a leftover? How about that for a leftover bass? Next them straight out the water. They're so fat, man. I just love, I don't care if they're little. I love getting a bite. I knew it was small whenever he bit. Something, there's something about fishing in that current. Fishing around, you know, you got a duck to cast. You get hung up constantly over your head because you ain't paying attention. I don't know why. There's just something about it that I love it. I'm at that point where I'm like, I want one more. 
been at that point for about 10 years now i suppose just one more is all one more bite one more fish 10 years in the making though had a couple one mores in that time span too There's a pretty one. Pretty old spotted bass. Pull my jig. My jig through the nose. Never coming off. Oh man, hook myself. Come on, caught two hooks is sharp. Pretty little fat one, man. I love these spotted bass out of this creek like this. Awesome to me. That is awesome. That one, I think, I felt him bite it. He thumped it really, really hard. And I felt it. And I was going to wait for him to move off with it. And he actually hooked himself because I could feel him head shaking before I ever really set the hook on him. So I think he had done kind of hooked himself in the nose because of how he ate it, you know. Spotted bass are notoriously peckers. You know, they, they don't just like inhale it like a largemouth does. A largemouth has a vacuum on its mouth that'll actually inhale the bait. Then you hook them, you hook them deep a lot of times. Spotted bass really like mouth it. And kind of just like eat it slowly almost like to take a few bites of something like miss hunter you know spotted bass little bitty tiny bites they eat very slowly they're aggressive and they attack stuff Gosh, man, took my chunks. That's a deep hole. These spotted bass will make you go through some dang soft plastics, that's for sure. Don't mess with that one little one over there for a while. You can tell by the way he bit it, though, he was a little bitty one. That one was in a spot where old big dog ought to be. All right. I ain't never missed this many largemouth on this jig ever. These spotted bass, though, different animal. There he is. That's why I missed him right there. Because he's that big. If he's that big, you're going to miss him sometimes, you know? Look, his mouth. Just don't hardly even get the jig, you know? Pretty little spot, though. He was from a spot where I dang big and should have been. Three foot deep little hole. It probably feels like it's about two and a half feet deep in there. Right there behind that current break. All right, there goes spot number two. Caught us, I don't know how many, five, six, something like that there. Some really, really small ones, but caught some nice ones too. From the bank, hard to complain. Got to throw my little jig around on my brand new, well, this ain't really a brand new rod anymore. Done fished a few tournaments with it, but did get to throw my stuff around, catch me some out of the current. Not bad. Gonna try to make it back to one more little spot. It's a pond. Just now seen it for the first time today. Looks like there's a park there. Some lily pads. We'll go see if we can't roll this spinnerbait around some of them lily pads because the water's a little bit low and catch us a nice large mouth or two. So let's get on over there. One more stop. It's almost dark, ain't got long. All right, last stop. I don't see any signs that say no fishing, so we'll just go sling it out there a few times. Wake it around through there. That's it. End of the day. Three spots. Last one didn't even look good. Never thought I was going to catch one. Did fish here for just a little while heading out now got to catch some fish off the bank 
not bad got a pretty good surprise coming for tomorrow hit that subscribe button come back and check out that video turn the alerts on so you don't miss that one if y'all enjoyed this video i appreciate it leave me a comment down below let me know what y'all think about a bank fishing video it's a nice change of pace from the elite series i don't wish the tournaments were over i wish we still had some more but this is what we got to do right now go catch some more bass off the bank we'll see you on the next one